she ended up calling in to a famous YouTuber seeking relationship and dating advice. During her viral video, the YouTuber basically drags her. Too many of you black women, you don't do shit the right way with black men. Average looking women tend not to get high earning men. Women like you die alone. Can you imagine having millions of people laugh at you? You say she can't have this? I'm gonna prove you wrong because this is what we do. I want to show her what a real dating professional does. I would have been crying. I would have been everywhere. Like, I, I would have been. I would get guys posting on my, talking about, oh, you think you all that, where your man and. All these black men are under these comments. What did I do to them? I just stated what I wanted, and they came and attacked me. And I'm like, if that's how they feel about me, I don't want to date black men. I had a disdain for them. But it's all about redemption. And yeah. that's why we're sitting here right now. Yeah. You have a beautiful soul. You have a beautiful spirit. I think you've done the self-work. I just see the confidence, and that's the main thing when it comes to matchmaking. We want our clients to be confident. Jessica wanted to take some time to, to herself to really heal. It is so important to be in a good mental state before you start dating. Right. And we definitely encourage that. We have so many women that have came to us saying, I don't believe love is for me. I don't think I deserve it. Are they trying to give up on real black love? Right, because of things that they heard yeah. or things that they see. We're happy that she did do the work. She's back here, and um, I think she's ready to go. Cannot wait to hear about this whole dancing date with Kevin. The date itself was fine. OK. Kevin was nice. Okay. He's, you know, he's tall, he's charismatic. So you're going to walk around the pole. OK. Yes. Kevin? Touch up the side of your body. Play <laughs> that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stand up on those toes. Good. Okay. Lean those hips out and give me a nice, sexy walk. Ooh, so, okay. yeah, I don't know how sexy this is, but we here. Listen. Now, I don't think that the average straight man would be down for pole dancing. Feel yourself. Lamont tells me that Kevin likes pole dancing, and Ashley's doing all things sexual. I thought it would be great for them. Squeeze those abs, and bam, bam. bam. Girl, I was so nervous. I've never set a woman up with a bisexual man. Okay. I was so, so worried. Okay. All right, you got this. One, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. three. Bam! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Perfect. So we talked after okay. the date. OK. And okay. he's a great conversationalist. What brought you to Atlanta? Work. OK. What do you do? I'm a sex blogger. Ah, love it. I love it. I'm a great cook. I went really? Because I don't cook. I went to the Cordon Bleu. Feed me. Uh, and like I said, Kevin is nice. I mm -hmm. like Kevin. I think he will be a great friend. Mm-hmm. We were talking, and he, like, girled me a couple times. He was like, yeah, girl. You're so animated. Are you always like this? Girl. I am. I am always 100% like this. OK, did you tell him how? Like, hey, you didn't, say, didn't. you didn't give him any feedback? No, I want you to be yourself. OK, so you just wanted to see how he really was. OK. Could you go on a date with him again? Like, my girl parts didn't jump. Mm. You know and what I mean? that's important. Correct. I need him to be like, you know. Girl, I need that, too. I get that. I am disappointed that it didn't work, because Ashley seems to really like him, though. She likes him as a person. But I give my clients five introductions. So do I get another date? or Let me regroup. But yes, you'll, you'll definitely get another date.